Irwin, thank you so much for the opportunity to come your way this week and spend some time together each day praying and also meditating in God's Word. This week, I want, to, want us to focus on a verse of Scripture from Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 1. Where the Apostle Paul makes an amazing statement. He tells us, Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children. Now, it's a very simple verse. He says, be imitators of God as dear children or as his dear children. The implication is that just as children would carefully observe their parent and then do almost naturally and almost implicitly what they see the parent do. So in like manner, the Apostle Paul is inviting us to be imitators of God. That is, we observe and then we do. We see what God is, who God is, what He does, and then we follow that in our lives. So I want us to take some time to reflect on that and see how we could actually begin to practice this instruction from Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 1, to be an imitator of God. And so we're going to develop this over this week. But the first obvious thought that would come to our minds is we must know our God. Just as a little child would observe the parent and you know sometimes the parent doesn't even realize that he or she is being actually observed by the child you know and uh, but the child is paying attention and then the child imitates just does what it sees or what it has observed the parent say or do so there is that process of learning through observation in the life of the child but for us our learning comes through our spending time with God in His Word, fellowship, in communion with God, listening to Him through His Word. And there are times as we pray, the Holy Spirit also speaks to us. But there is this discovery process, this learning process that happens through our fellowship with God. And that is the basis our learning and our knowing and our growing in our knowledge of God, which then forms the basis for us to be able to imitate Him or to do likewise. So I want to challenge us as we begin meditating on this truth this week, that we need to get to know our God. Obviously, we can't see Him physically in person, but we can learn of Him. We can get to know Him through His Word and through fellowship with Him in prayer, with His Holy Spirit, and through the influence of a local community of believers who will speak into our lives and reveal God to us as well. Through all of these ways, we are growing in our knowledge of the Lord. And as we grow in knowing Him, we can then become imitators of Him. So keep growing, keep discovering more and more of the Lord. Have that passion, that desire to know Him. Because as you and I know Him, we can then become imitators of Him. Let's pray. Father, we just ask that as we spend time this week learning to be imitators of God, how to imitate God, how to copy God, open our eyes that we may be able to see you, know you, understand your ways, understand your thoughts, so that we can truly imitate you in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.